Okay, so today I was actually going to do another book haul, but I can't do that because this is something I need to talk about. And I was going to do it once before, but I put it off because I didn't think I was ready to talk about it. But as you guys know, I have a Twitter, I have an Instagram, I have a Facebook, I have social media. And on my Instagram specifically, I have a lot of younger people that follow me. And I understand why we have similar taste in music. We like certain things, we have the same sense of humor, I get it. I was a lot like them when I was a teenager. And with a lot of them, I've actually helped them and worked through stuff with them. By the way, this video, this video is not going to be edited. There's going to be no music. There's not going to be any jokes because this is just, it's not funny what I'm about to talk to you about. Um, It was late. It was after I was done editing and showering and I was laying down for the night. And um, I was scrolling through my Instagram. And uh, just so many kids that are depressed and hurting themselves and, and and cutting and seeing pictures of it p people pick posting pictures of their scars and talking about how much they hate their lives and they don't want to live anymore and they're so tired of living and it's too hard and it breaks my heart <laughs> like it really really does I lost my best friend to suicide uh, to this day it is the hardest thing I've ever had to deal with because I know what that feels like and I know you got you guys are gonna think I'm bashing on people that are you know that hurt themselves no not at all because I used to, I used to, oh my God, the things that I've done to my body because of my depression, not even just cutting, but just not taking care of myself and drinking and doing drugs and being up for days and just being so tired and not eating for days and then binge eating and then cutting and not cutting and burning myself or punching things or whatever I could think of to make me hurt so I didn't think about why I was actually hurt and to this day I'm not saying I'm okay I'm not there are things that I still need to deal with a lot of stuff but I've managed to get through it and be here because I had people that cared about me and that wanted me here. Now, back to my friend. He was 23 years old. And he used to always, oh my God, I can't count the number of times he stopped me from ending my life. And I think whatever force or anything that's out there, I think that for him, because now I'm here talking to you guys and I'm trying to help you. Uh, he hung himself in his girlfriend's bathroom. She found him. 45 minutes later um, it was actually during Hurricane Sandy and the big blackout and we were supposed to hang out the, the morning that he did it and him and his girlfriend were fighting and when I didn't get a text the next day I just assumed you know they're still fighting I'll let them handle their business and the next day I got a text that he was gone and for years, I was so angry and I blamed myself and I blamed everybody and, but it was because he couldn't 
he didn't have someone that he felt like he could talk to about it which is so devastating because there's so many times that we've talked about it and I know some of you guys probably think that nobody cares and that nobody would miss you but you are so so wrong you are so wrong to see you guys hurting yourselves and posting pictures and talking about how easy it would be if you weren't here oh I used to think that way and now I'm so happy that I wake up because then I can do something to change this we're losing too many people to suicide we're losing too many people to self-hatred and we're losing too many people to insecurity and hopelessness and depression and worthlessness because I want you to know that you are loved and you are so appreciated and I'm proud of you I'm proud of you every day you wake up I am proud of you every day you get out of bed and you get dressed. I am so proud of you. And I wish I could hug every single one of you. I do. Because it really breaks my heart to know that more people hate themselves than love themselves. And I'm one of those people, I hate myself a lot. I know I'm annoying, I know I'm obnoxious, and I know that I'm not funny but if I can help one of you just one of you with this that makes all of it worth it all of it because if one of you were to not be around anymore I would give a shit I would care my world would stop for you because I know how many hearts are broken because you're not here anymore and I want you guys to know that I love you every single one of you and you're all perfect and I'm awesome and you're awesome and we need to start realizing that and we need to stop thinking that we're less than I wanted to do something fun today, but I couldn't. I needed to talk about this because it's it's such a problem. It's such a problem and nobody's acknowledging it really. It's like it's always a call for attention and it's not. This is a problem that we need to deal with. And I'm hugging you from here I'm hugging you I'm giving you kisses I'm giving you all my love and all the strength that I could think of to give you so that you can keep waking up every day oh man and I'll see you tomorrow I love you so fucking much holy shit I love you guys so much and you are so fucking beautiful. Oh man, you have no idea. And I want you guys to go and look at yourself in the mirror. And I want you to tell yourself, I love you and you're fucking beautiful. And I want you to go out there and I want you to kick today in the ass. And I know Shay hasn't been posting much. I'm not really sure why, but I'm here. And I'll be posting my Twitter and my Instagram and my Snapchat. And if you need to talk, if you need to vent, if you need somebody to listen, I will listen. I will be here for you. I guess that's it. <laughs> that's all I really needed to say.